We're back with Stray once again, and this video will be a rant responding to what a lot of people have said. Stray has definitely taken the internet by storm, and it's going to be really hard to find a person who dislikes this game. But there are people who ranted about the game in a different way. Dog lovers have been vocal on their own, saying that the game would have been much better if the protagonist had been a dog. It's gone to the point where people have even created a mod for Bolt from that Disney movie. Look at that smug little shit. Look at him. With his whiskers and his his fuzzy freaking face and eyes you could drown in. Welcome everyone to my playthrough of Stray. I am a dog person. I have never owned a cat. I don't see the appeal. I don't get it. Game of the year? If it was a dog, maybe. If it was called Stray Dog, then maybe. But I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. And well, no worries, my cat people, because not only is it better to play as a cat in this game, but a dog cannot be the protagonist of Stray. Like, they physically cannot be played in that game. The developers of Stray paid a lot of attention to the attributes of a cat and were very careful to put it in the game. This is visible throughout the gameplay. For starters, a dog would not even be able to start the game. In Stray, our feline protagonist enters the walled city by falling in. A dog would perish doing this. You see, a cat is much more resilient to hard falls. A cat's paws are natural shock absorbers, which can extend under their bodies. Upon falling, they utilize their acrobatic skills to turn their bodies to the right direction, and then they arch their backs to lessen the impact. It's also worth noting that cats have more flexible bones than dogs, and so they are able to disperse all that impact throughout their body, because they have the muscle and bone predispositions to do so. This is called a writing mechanism. Dogs do not have this mechanism. If a dog were to make this fall, it would likely fall to its death. At the very least, the dog would have so many broken bones that it would be rendered immobile and then be eaten by zerks down in those sewers. So by all accounts and purposes, a potential canine protagonist would not be able to even start the game. But okay, okay, let's say that it would somehow be able to enter the walled city without falling in. Would a dog be able to survive the city? And the answer to that is also no. One of the characteristics of a cat is its ability to move with agility. They have a physics-defying physique that allows them to move in unique ways. Given that cats are natural hunters, they need that form to be able to pursue and climb tall obstacles. With powerful hind legs and low body weight, cats are able to jump six times their own body length with pinpoint accuracy. So what is it about a kitty's leap that leaves us humans for dust? Well, it's all down to evolution and increasing kinetic energy for the jump. When preparing to jump, Missy adopts a crouched position like a coiled spring. This allows her to exploit the full strength of her powerful rear legs as she leaps upwards. On landing, she pulls herself up with her back legs, gripping with her claws, bringing her to a graceful halt. To sound synonymous, dogs do not have these skills and the average canine can't even hop a fence, let alone jump on ledges or traverse rooftops. Therefore, a potential canine protagonist will be stuck in the dead city and fall prey to Zerks at some point. So basically, that mod of Bolt in Stray is completely unrealistic. That's why Stray is a cat game. And let us cat people have it. A game about a dog would be probably just involve a dog running around a field. But when it comes to parkour and athletics, that's where felines come in.